What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today's video we're going to be going over things that you need on a brand new four-wheeler. <clears throat> your basic, your basic first things to do, right? Everybody, like when you buy something, you know, you always got to do the, the first, you know, initial things you buy, like right away. You know, I've had it, what? Ugh, come on out of gear, please. <sighs> Anyways. So you always got to spend some money when you buy one, right? I know I kind of got cut off there. That's because I got a phone call again, right in the middle of my speech. But we're going to go over some of the things I like to buy when I get a new four-wheeler, all right? And we're going to install them and put them on. I'll show you how it's done. So, straps. I never put straps on a four-wheeler before. That's too cheap. But anyways, these are like... $16 tractor supply. And I figure straps are nice to have. You always, sometimes you got something you want to strap down that takes more than a bungee, right? That's why you got straps. So we'll put those on somewhere. I got bungee cords. These ain't normally the ones I buy, but they're a good price. And I got different lanes here. They're the good ones. That was like 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Uh, tow rope. Normally I buy the other one at tractor supply, but I saw this one for like. $15.99 is cheaper and it had a shackle so I bought this one it's shorter too I don't like 20 foot ropes 12 foot most of the time that's all you need and then I bought a Reese 2 inch ball because I don't want that cheap traveler junk so we're going to install this put all that on there and talk about what we got we're going to pull into the shed for this because it's so windy out here here's my brother's rancher pretty nasty there's my dad's Suzuki all cleaned up, looking good. There's the old three-wheeler. All right, let's get this stuff out of the way. Get to business. If we can find it, I'd like to break out the old redneck tripod, because I need that right now. Gotta clean all this freaking junk out of here. Get this freaking box in my freaking face. Gas out of the way. Jack stand, Ooh, this might be perfect, old son. So first, we're gonna put this here ball on all right that's the first that slides over just a hair that's the first thing i'm gonna put on this here nice ball unscrew it out of here you want to toe i mean if you want to get pulled out but it's also good you know if you have a little trailer whatever it's good to have one and it just makes your four-wheeler look more complete just something you got to put on every four that when you get it the next is the tow rope. This one's in a bag. I know it won't stay in a bag, but we'll put it on in the bag right now. Even though you know it'll totally be a mess. But for now, we'll probably just stick in here and fix. So don't think good enough. I don't like that. Probably just open it up out of here. Kind of cheap feeling. I don't know. Yeah, when it's muddy though, this is what you normally do right here. You just. Kind of put it back like this. Stick it on your four-wheeler somewhere. We'll probably stick the tow rope on here somewhere. But, man, I wish I had my knife. I don't ever have my knife. It's a problem, because we need to get to our new freaking bungees here. More hooks. Like so. I mean, that'll work. That'll hold it. So anyways, after all that, making my fingers hurt like crazy, we got all 10 of these all ready to go. So you might want to put two long ones on the back, short ones on the front, whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter to me. Put them on there however you like. They're nice to have. All right, y'all. So I know this right here. Thank you. See, now I didn't go line up. Basically, it's a failure, but. So. I don't really know for this box, but. Figure. I guess I would just better off using as a toolbox for the shed. Quit being cheap. Buy the Honda lock rack system crap. That cost a fortune. I I wonder if we can put gas in us stone. We'll see. First tank of gas going in the Rubicon. Oh jeez. Didn't spill too much. You don't want to overfill. Once it's full like that, you just quit. 
You can sit here and dump fuel in it forever, but then you just have it dumping out of your vent line, which is no good. Which on the 19, I had the vent line around the pod, and it was really nice. When you'd overfill, and then you'd have gas spewing out all over your lap through the headlight pod. That was always really nice. But anyways, that's the gas. Fueled up. I got the oil and filter already for the first service. All that right, I'm gonna run normal Honda oil instead of that Rotel I've been running. But anyways, let's hook these bungees up and go on a ride and see if we can test out a new rope on something. This right here will work for the bungee layout. That'll work for that. And then you got the bowl. So as you guys can see, that's kind of the basic stuff. When you buy a new four-wheeler, you just put on. We will ride it over to the truck. Not my truck, this truck. Good and tight. Now we're going to ride. Need to make a new redneck tripod so our first test is gonna be pulling this log out of the way sometimes you're better off not even buying good deals it's worthless look at that worthless can't even hook it on a ball can't even get the shackle through on this thing worthless junk i'm gonna go get a knife and attempt to make this thing work piece of junk Thanks to my cousin Israel, this is possible. Hope you're watching this video, buddy. This is the only leather I can find. It'll work. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is how you ruin a tow rope in two seconds and make me extremely freaking mad. Extremely mad. This worthless piece of garbage. There we go. I got it rigged up somewhat. Made me feel better about myself. See how she pulls. This right here, I'm gonna just tie loops on each end so we have a rope. This is worthless. So now we have a basically worthless, but now more usable tow rope that's freaking short and better than nothing, I guess. You know what? I think nothing's better than this. That piece of crap is right there. Worthless junk. Most worthlessest thing I ever bought in my life. Junk! And it's too hot for this. That'll just be the hoodie holder. How about that? So now we're going out here to pay our respects to the 2019 Rubicon in that caught grip right here and slid it down this huge hill that I can barely stand on. That's stupid. As you see, here's the memorial. 2019 Honda Rubicon Memorial Park. That's a hill. Hill, you know what I mean? Just really bad hill. Like that's just how you mess it up. Like you just go up there, especially with diff lock on. You know, it lifts the front end up when the front end starts to hit back down. Whichever wheel hits first, you're... And you gotta get pulled over. And then you gotta... And then you gotta let off the gas like an idiot. And... Right to the freaking tree. And bend the rear rack and rip that off. Well, buddy, it's time to go deposit this check and end this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. There's going to be plenty more 2020 content coming out. But anyways, leave a like, and I hope you enjoyed. 
be sure to watch the next video.